Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my candle day wish list. Candle day is coming up. It is projected to be, they still have not announced anything, but it is projected to be December 4th through 6th. Okay, hi, future Victoria here. So clearly I was very confused about what was going on for candle day in that video. And since then more information has been announced. So candle day is actually three days in store, both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday is online only and you can shop in stores all three days. So only Friday will you be able to buy candles online at the $9.95 or whatever price it is for candle day. So now that I've cleared that up, I will say that um, I do plan on going to the store by my work after I leave uh, work, which is 8 p.m. They are gonna be open till 9 p.m. So I'm gonna go by right before I leave for um, leave to go home on Friday night I'm gonna stop by that store and get as much as I can. And if they're sold out of anything, then I'll go to my other stores on either Saturday or Sunday. I have one in my mall, which is um, just a Bath and Body Works, but they usually have a lot of the scents that my other store doesn't have. Like they'll have the newest stuff at the mall. And then I have a standalone store that is a Bath and Body Works and a White Barn. So that one usually has the White Barn candles, of course, but um, they don't usually get the newest stuff the quickest so i might go on sunday um again uh to that store to one of the, my, the stores near me and see if anything is um like if they put out any of the back stock that they have of new candles like the roaring 20s and stuff but that's what i plan on doing and then friday i do plan on getting um, a few candles online and I also have a reward online so I'm gonna use that reward and just get my candles in my reward so that's my plans now let's go back to my shopping list so I have my laptop right here pulled up because I wanted to show you guys what was on my list I went ahead and put it all in my cart online just so I could see it but um okay so currently in my cart I have 13 um, candles I really only want to get six uh, we'll see how that goes but anyways, the first one that I want to get, and this one I'm not gonna compromise on, I'm definitely going to get this one, is Vanilla Bean Noel in the beautiful frosted glass packaging with that gorgeous lid. Um, these are actually $26.50, so this is an even better deal to get these for whatever price they are, probably $9.95 on candle day. Um, I smelled this one in store, and, and so I smelled the regular Vanilla Bean Noel in the core, I mean in the uh, Christmas packaging, and it wasn't really that strong, but I smelled these candles in this frosted packaging and they are a lot stronger than the regular candles. So I figured Vanilla Bean Noel is always a very light scent anyways. So I'm gonna get it in this beautiful packaging. The fragrance notes are Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow Fluff, and Vanilla Cake. I had this one last year and it was just like a really good candle. I don't really care that it's very light. I love Vanilla Bean Noel, the scent. I love it. Um, and so yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. This one is a no-brainer. I really hope that they have this one in stock. If not, I'll probably get a different one in that same um, frosted collection, and I might go back again like ne the next week and exchange it, so we'll see. Um, and keep in mind that if you go in stores and the candle that you want is sold out, you can always get the same, um, you can always get another candle and go in stores the next week, and if they have that candle, if it's not one of like the pop-up collections or something, then you can get it then, so just keep that in mind. Um, the next candle that I have is Sugared Snickerdoodle, and so I'm actually going to move a little bit because I'm going to put up the picture. This one has the cute little like bakery packaging on here, and I figured this one will be good because I don't have to have this one out just for Christmas time, um, but I love the cookie scents from Bath & Body Works. The fragrance scents are Warm Spices, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk, and um, me and my mom both love these, so I can bring this one downstairs too. But sugared snickerdoodle, I figure I can burn year round. It really doesn't matter. It's just like a very sugary, sweet scent. And yeah, I'm definitely picking up something in sugared snickerdoodle. Maybe not this packaging. This is the one I'm looking for, but if it's sold out, then that's okay. I'll pick it up in something else. The next one I want is a Merry Cookie, another cookie scent. Um, this one does smell a little bit different. I think it doesn't have the spice in it. Um, the fragrance notes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla, and I'm going to get it in the Frosted Fable Collection packaging. 
This is so beautiful. I love the little fox on here decorating the gingerbread house. I love that it has like a luminary packaging where you can see the wax as it's burning. I think that's so beautiful. I really wanted to pick up something in this kind of packaging. So that's why I chose Mary Cookie in this packaging. The next one I have is I could do without it or I could buy it either way. Um, I'm neither here nor there on this one, but I smelled this one in stores and it surprised me. It's vanilla balsam. Now, usually I don't like the balsam tree kind of scents, the pine scents, um, but this one's balsam fir, frosted vanilla, and snow-capped pine needles. I smelled this one and it's like a very mild pine mixed with vanilla, and so that's why I kind of liked it. I figured maybe only one of these kind of like fresh um, greenery scents, um, but it actually surprised me that I liked it so much. It's like a very subdued pine, and I feel like I could do this. So the next one is Snowflakes and Citrus. I smelled this one in store and also it surprised me. I usually don't really care for the citrus scents. It's never the first one that's on my mind. Um, but the fragrance notes are Juicy Citrus, Fresh Spring Water, and Sweet Mango. This one I figure I can also burn year round and it won't really bother me um, that it's like a Christmas scent, you know? Um, and I also love the packaging on this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I like Champagne Toast also in this packaging, but I don't need Champagne Toast. Um, I have it in a one wick, so I figured this would be really beautiful to have and to display. I'm also kind of here nor there on this one. I don't have to have it, but it would be nice. Another one that I have is Vanilla Snowflake. The fragrance notes on this are Frozen Vanilla, Iced Fir Needles, Mint Leaf, and Coconut Flakes. This one also surprised me because it is um, kind of like a greenery scent but with that vanilla and mint and coconut. So it's like a bakery balsam, I don't know. Um, and the packaging on this is beautiful. It's also a luminary. Um, I, I really like it. I think I could probably go for either the vanilla balsam or the vanilla snowflake and be good with either one of those, um, which, yeah. So I don't have to have this one, but again, I would like it. Another one in the Frosted Fable collection is Christmas Cider. Um, looking at it right now, this one's sold out online, but I've seen it in my store before. Um, the fragrance notes are Mold Cinnamon, Crushed Clove, Creamy Nutmeg, and Simmering Cider. This is like one of those spicy scents that I really like. Um, I love, love, love spicy scents, and it's like a apple-y spice. Um, I don't need it, but I do love the packaging on it with the little reindeer and the sled. Um, I love the luminary part of it. And I do like this scent, but I don't have to have it. I do already have a cider scent. So this would be nice to have, but I don't have to have it. The next one that I definitely, definitely, definitely want is gingerbread marshmallow. Um, the fragrance notes are gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, vanilla frosting, and brown sugar crystals. This one smells so good. I feel like this one smells better than the regular um, spiced gingerbread candle to me. This one smells sweeter. It has that marshmallow. It has that icing. It smells really, really good. I smell this one in store. I also love the packaging on it too. It's very pretty. Um, but this one smelled so good in store. Like I literally almost bought it and I was like, girl, wait till candle day. Come on, wait till candle day. You can do it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up gingerbread marshmallow. I hope it doesn't sell out, um, but I'm definitely picking that one up. The next one I have on here is Salted Caramel Eggnog, also in the same kind of packaging as Gingerbread Marshmallow. The fragrance notes are Gooey Caramel, Fresh Sea Salt, Dulce de Leche, and Sweet Whipped Cream. Um, this one I could go here or there. Um, I do have a Salted Caramel Candle coming in the mail, so I don't need it, but it smells really, really good. Caramel Candles have my heart. I love Caramel Candles. Um, so I would like it, but again, I don't necessarily need it. And then the next three, I just kind of like put in here because if I see them in stores then I'll get them, um, but I don't have to have them. This one is Raspberry Mimosa. I haven't smelled it yet, um, so I don't know if I'll need it, but it's sweet raspberries, rose, sorbet, and a splash of champagne. It sounds like all the scents that I love, it sounds like it's berries and um, that champagne bubbly scent, I love it. Um, that's also in Champagne Toast. I love that. And I figured this would be a good candle to have um, like year round and not just Christmas time. Um, so I would like it. If I see it in stores, I might pick it up, um, but I don't need it. But I figured it's like, it's such pretty packaging too. I love the White Barn Core packaging. I just think it's just so sleek. Um, but I figured it would be a nice scent year round. So if I see it, I might get it. 
Um, another one is, this one's like a backup scent. If I don't find whatever I want, then I'll get this one as a backup. It's Vanilla Bean, just plain old Vanilla Bean. Um, Madagascar Vanilla, Homemade Marshmallow, and Fresh Steamed Milk. I've smelled this before, it smells amazing. I don't need it, but I would like it. <laughs> okay, the next couple of ones are online exclusives. So if I do for some reason order online, then I will order these. I don't know if I will, I haven't decided yet. I don't think I will just because shipping has been taking so, so long. But anyways, um, this one is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. This one sounds amazing. So the fragrance notes are, well actually it just has a description. A comforting vanilla fragrance that it evokes the sweetness of a homemade marshmallow with essential oils. Um, Miss So Delish here on YouTube raved about this candle. She said it's amazing. Um, Vanilla bean and marshmallow just sounds like the perfect combination. It sounds beautiful. Um, it sounds like a very soft scent. It'll probably be a light thrower, but again, I love vanilla scents, so I really don't care. Um, and the packaging is really pretty with this little like moon and star on it. So if I do order online, then I will pick this up. Another one that is an online exclusive is buttered, no, butter rum eggnog. Um, the fragrance notes are spiced eggnog, vanilla bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. So, um, Queen of the Girl Ge Geeks Bonnie here on YouTube also raved about this one. This one uh, has been, I think, an online exclusive for a few years now, or it hasn't come back for a few years or something. Eggnog sounds amazing. All the other ones that have eggnog in the scent notes, they don't actually smell like eggnog. Um, I like eggnog. I drink it like once every winter. I just get like a little bottle of it. My family hates it, um, but I like it. I just get, like get a little, little bottle of it and have my fill for the year, but an eggnog candle sounds amazing. I'm so sad that it's an online exclusive because I feel like it would sell really, really well um, in stores, but whatever Bath and Body Works. Um, it's also really cute with like the little Santa on it, but yeah, if I do an online order, then I will pick this one up. And now I'm on my phone. I'm on Instagram on Sense Galore's page. And so there are a few collections that they say are going to be pop-ups for Candle Day. Okay, so the first one is this kind of like fruity um, candle collection. So she has a picture of Pink Apple Punch on here. There's also Watermelon Lemonade, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, Peach Bellini, Island Margarita, and Cookies and Cream Milkshake. Um, these will probably be a pop-up, so they might sell out really, really fast, so I'm not sure if I'll even see these in person. Um, but if I do, I don't think I'll pick up any of the free ones, but I might pick up cookies and cream milkshake. That sounds really, really good. Um, and then they also have the Roaring Twenties ones, which I don't think they're going to put out, but people have been saying that um, if they run out of stock, then they'll just put out whatever they have in the back, so they might put out the Roaring Twenties. But these are a few of the candles. There's Cranberry Pear Bellini, Hot Butter Rum, Berry Spritzer, Black Tie, Black Cherry Merlot. Here's the other collection that is also kind of like Roaring Twenties. Um, that's the Frosted Moscow Mule, Champagne Toast, Mary Mosa, Pink Apple Punch, and Party Dress. So if I see these in store, I'll, I'll give them a smell, of course. Um, the Mary Mimosa sounds good to me because it has that sparkling champagne note. Um, and I know I love that. So I might pick that up. Um, as far as the Roaring Twenties ones, I don't think any of them sound, maybe Berry Spritzer, I don't know. I feel like I'll get one berry um, scented candle and be good. Um, I already have Hot Buttered Rum, so I don't need that. Black Cherry Merlot, Black Tie, mm -mm. Cranberry Pear Bellini, no, probably not. Champagne Toast, I don't need it. Frosted Moscow Mule, I'll smell it. I, I don't know. I think it's like lime or something. Yeah, sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. So I'll smell that one. I probably won't pick it up though. Um, but so far, only Mary Mimosa sounds sounds interesting to me out of the two like t 20s themed collections. Uh, Mary Mosa and maybe Berry Spritzer. So those two sound good to me. So unless they release some like random other candle line that we haven't seen any pictures for or any spoilers for, um, that's probably all I'll pick up. Again, I plan on doing six candles only. It might be closer to 10. Um, I really hope not 12 because that's a lot, Victoria. You don't need that many. But again, I don't want to limit myself during the holidays because I love, love, love these like Christmas scents. 
These are my favorite scents. I will burn them year round. I really don't care um, the seasonality of things. I will just burn them whenever I feel like it. But that is everything for my candle day wish list. Let me know down below what you guys are planning on picking up. What scent are you going to get tons of backups of? What scent are you looking forward to in the pop-up collections? Let me know down below. And if you'll be shopping in stores or online, I still haven't decided when I'll go in stores. I'm waiting for emails from Bath & Body Works because it sounds like I might have to go Friday at a store near my work um, and maybe just go like before work. I don't know, but I'm scared there's going to be huge lines and then I'm going to end up late. I don't know. Um, hopefully Saturday is also in store um, and we'll just see. I don't know. So anyways, you guys will definitely be seeing a haul from me for that later. But thank you so, so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.